Two winters ago, I took the car from Stockholm and drove four hours northwest to return to my childhood summer home for the first time in 20 years. The house has always remained in the family, but I couldn't bear to go there. But when I walked through the pine trees on the path opening up to the cottage, I saw that everything was as it had always been. I still knew every stone, every thorny passage. My first thought was, where is everyone? The white plastic chairs were still there in the grass, where my mom and dad always sat and sunbathed, and the big rock that my dad used as a side table during those bright June nights. My parents died many years ago, but here at the cottage, they still remained. That spot, just right there, it was my mother's favorite spot. That's where she solved crosswords puzzles and gazed out at the lake. I saw myself as a child and I saw my two brothers. I saw the old barn beside the cottage. And I remember when my little brother and me were given the chore of repainting it one summer. We lived every second together on those long summer days. We were as close as any people can be. What happened to us three brothers? Where did we go? How could the three of us, who shared everything, drift so far apart as adults? I decided to let a novel spring from that pain. It became a story about three brothers who returned to the summer cottage of their childhood in order to seek the answer to a great mystery. What happened that summer, all those years ago? The story is pure fiction, but its source is also my source. And I wanted the novel to ask the same question I often ask myself when I think about my childhood and I think about those three boys who shared everything. What happened?